Welcome to Window Shop with Car and Driver. This is the show where we give ourselves a challenge and shop for cars online. Uh, this week's show is a challenge submitted by one of you viewers who wanted to see pickup trucks. Well, actually, he said trucks for less than $5,000. And we took that to mean pickup trucks. And then I wanted more details, and the viewer never answered me. So we've selected pickup trucks for less than $5,000. Uh, this week, we're joined by John Perley Huffman, one of our contributors, Alana Schur, one of our contributors, uh, Jonathan Ramsey, and Casey Colwell round out the group. Um, Jonathan, you want to take it away and uh, show us what you found? All right. So because of uh, rampant abuse in previous weeks, I have decided <laughs> to go mainstream. Herbal? <laughs> um, and I went over budget last week and Casey got on me about that. So this time I have found beautiful this. For fourteen hundred dollars. Fourteen uh, hundred. Fourteen hundred. Boom. And it's um, the seven three. It's the wait, legendary wait, wait, wait. seven no. three. What's there's like no floor in this. What's wrong? No, that's a scam. Was owned by a lady, Casey, and that really drops the value. <laughs> oh no! Boom. <laughs> that is a joke. I would not have told. <laughs> for you to do so. <laughs> That's what a lot of humans be able to tell jokes we can't tell. Does exactly. she know? Does this Melanie know the value of her truck? That's an amazing truck. Um, look at that interior. There's oh my God! Wait, wait, wait! No, no, no. Way. no way! It's a scam. It's a scam. This is, look, my my Did job you spend is not all day yesterday this making this post. My job <laughs> is to find. <laughs> my job is to find the truck. You know what it is. I dude? wanted to make sure I could tow. I wanted a diesel, and I wanted four wheel drive, and I got it all. And you know what? You're going to call her and she's going to want like everything in like uh, Outback uh, gift cards. And, uh, <laughs> for for $1,400. I, I would jump through those hoops for this. Yeah. This thing looks I'll, I'll get, you know, I'll get, I'll get all the blue and then you're going to hear from her again. It's a, this, is a to, this is one of those things where they're putting it out there because they know it's an incredibly desirable truck and they'll get somebody who thinks they're going to pay for it without ever seeing it and they're going to take the money and never deliver the truck. I don't know why you don't want me to be happy. <laughs> I don't know why you why you hate joy. Can I look at the carpet photo again? Because I don't think I've ever seen that color carpet from that era truck. Yeah, that's way Without, too clear. like that whole dark spot in the middle. Yeah, the green. This is, yeah, this is a, a a green Velcro thing, or it looks like, and I don't know what that is. But... Jonathan, if this is legit, this is a fine because I was looking for a 7.3 because that non-turbo 7.3 diesel just is indestructible, apparently. Yeah, those can survive an EMP. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's tons of them out there. Um, I mean, there was another one. Well, there, there's tons of them out there, and there are quite a few under 2,500, but a lot of them have been snow plows or used really, really hard. I love the I love that generation of F series too. That's a beautiful F series. And I think I just, it's, it's just improbably low. It's just improbably inexpensive. <laughs> Matthew McConaughey's character in uh, in the first episode of True Detective wheeled a red one of these, and it was awesome. Well, yeah. I mean, long bed, extended cab. I mean, it only had what two hundred and I think two hundred and ten horsepower and four hundred twenty five pound feet. How many miles on this thing? 116. Yeah. Oh, this, is, this, this can't be real. This cannot be real. Have you called him? Uh, there, she, there's no number, but I did send her a message. I think, <laughs> I think she's in Nigeria, though, but she's going to get back to me. And let me well, know. she's from Houston, so she, maybe they fished this out of the, out of the, out of the flood. <laughs> Something like that. But hey, like if, I, I have no idea if this is real. It is crazy, but... This it's one awesome. Again. Well, you might yeah. have a winner. If that was real and you didn't actually just create this post, I think you have a winner. Yeah. I haven't dipped that low yet. It's just going to be the fastest episode ever. Way to go. <laughs> hey, John, so, you might be this is a zero. All right. Thanks, Jonathan. We'll kick it over to Alana now. Alana, is your truck real and not a scam? <laughs> I, I would say yes. I would Why say can I seven. never win? You can win. You might win. But that looks like a scam. I I um I followed all the rules. I always follow all the rules when I do this with you guys. Don't start this. 
I like That's rules. <laughs> um, all right, ready? Let's do it. Okay. Beautiful. So, uh, What's a manual? Found an 86 Nissan 720. Mm -hmm. um, there are, uh, I think, four <laughs> pictures of it. Beautiful. Um, none of, them are of the interior. Um, none of them are in any way a detail, but they. This particular listing is notable because every other um, Datsun 620, Nissan 720, Datsun 720 that I found had photos like this. <laughs> um, so oh, that I, thing's awesome. I know. I love this one, but a it's um, too expensive. Oh, you're over budget, but that's what yeah. that's within no. negotiable range. That's, I would yeah, that's in the negotiating range. But I sure. I don't really know why Datsun on Nissan owners seem to be so bad at photography. But uh, yeah, they're they're very bad. But uh, I actually owned a '78 Datsun 720. 620 and um, it's what I learned to drive stick on and I bought it for uh, $900 and it smelled like goats and I drove <laughs> it for a year until I was somewhat capable of driving stick and then I bought the Opal GT and then I sold it to uh, to John Cruson who used to you know do her stuff I think still does her stuff and then he <laughs> never picked it up and he eventually sold it back to me and then I sold it to another guy so yeah I really suck at selling trucks you never mm -hmm. let go of them. You can't let what, go. What's the difference between the 620 and the 720? Um, I, I don't even know. I think that it's okay. next generation. 100 degrees. How, how much is this? Oh, can you not see it? Yeah, scroll up a little. Uh, hold on. Scrolling is hard. Oh, it won't show it. No, it doesn't show it. We, how much did you tell us? We have a truck that there might be three in existence on the planet <laughs> in that condition with a price we happen to not be able to see. <laughs> scam conspiracy. This is a scam. I, love, scam. I love, love this conspiracy. Oh, wait, no. Scroll back. Back. Yeah. Back. There right. we go. Look, look at that. Oh. 4,700. Totally, oh. totally legitimate. Followed all the know. rules. It's nearby. I can go pick it up for you right now. The, this I've was the second. Never fit in that cab. The second car model I ever owned, I think it was an AMT. Wasn't that the brand, the AMT models? Yes. The first one was um, Cooter's, uh, Cooter's... Uh, From Dukes of Hazard. Yeah, Cooter's, um, what's it called? Uh, tow truck. Tow truck. truck. Yeah, that's yeah. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> and then this was the second one. And I remember when I was growing up, I, w I saw these up until around maybe 1983 in Michigan, but then they all disappeared because they all just rusted away immediately. That is beautiful. You. I, I was disappointed to find out though that you could not buy this particular truck in the uh, little hustler trim level because they stopped that after 1982. Oh, well, this is an 86, so this is a year before the hard body arrived. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. this is the last of this generation. This is a late one. That's awesome. That's you know, I don't fun. want it. You should go get it. Where's Vista? Is that far from us? Manual, which is good too. Manual transmission. <laughs> Far. And yeah, it's a, it's a five speed manual, and I could just put it into the bed of one of my other real trucks. So it's not like I would have a problem parking it. The beauty of having these in California, too, of having these small pickups is you could always sell one within days. There's always a lawn care service or a gardening yeah. service that will be in the market for one of these. Yeah. Um, and actually, if I can, you know, send people back to the car and driver website, there's, a, there's an excellent story about a 1986 uh, Nissan. Uh, 720 road trip. So. Oh yeah, who wrote that? Stephen Lang. Oh, Stephen Lang. Yeah, there you go. Probably sold it. Well, I think you might. You've got a. You've got a real truck, which is good. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we don't. We don't know that. Yeah, we, we don't, don't know that. <laughs> Let's wait till. What was her name? Melinda. Melanie. 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 We'll wait, wait for Melanie to respond to. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put her on speakerphone when she calls during this broadcast. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Alana. We'll kick it over to Mr. Huffman, who I suspect, I think I know, I think we all know what truck you probably picked. Well, I have to have a Tundra because I am Mr. First Generation Tundra. And uh, I found li literally dozens of early first generation Tundras around $5,000. All, all around 200,000 miles, but I, this is, I'm actually literally at my 191,000 mile first Tundra, which my son drives. Original owner. 
You're the original uh, owner. Original owner, bought this in 1999. My son's now at Carleton College in Minnesota, and Harvard is the Carleton College of the East. And uh, this is a this is a 2000. It's got uh, I forgot how many miles. It's not. It wasn't that bad. It was like a 210,000, which is just warming up for these trucks. Got an accident reported, apparently. It does. Well, you can see they bought it at an auction. If you get down here, let's see if I get here. And this is a V8 too. You could get the, what was it? The three, four V6 in these? Three, four V6 in the, in the first years. This is, this is when they bought it at the auction. You can see how it's been, you know, it was a little bit, a little bit beat and they did some, some fixing up of it. And okay. the fact that they're so honest with it is pretty encouraging. And, uh, you know, these are, you know, you buy into an ecosystem when you buy these trucks because, you know, you, it, if you buy a Ford, you're in the Ford ecosystem. You buy just a Chevy or the Chevy ecosystem. You buy the Toyota Tacoma or a Tundra and you're a Tundra man for life. I'm a are Tundra you in a man. Tundra, are you, you in a bury Tundra me. club? No, I haven't done. I'm not that bad yet. You went on the uh, press but I'm starting one. one. He's, not only, he's not only a member. He's a <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to start a Tundra club. So that Pearly, didn't you know, Pearly, isn't the story that you went on the press launch of this Tundra and you were so impressed that you went to your Toyota dealer and ordered one? I did. That's exactly what happened. I came back from the press launch, went over to Toyota Santa Barbara and bought the first one in Santa Barbara. And it's this after, truck. After an afternoon in a truck. It yes. No, it, it, yeah, much. after an afternoon in the truck. Well, I had a, I had a T100. And, uh, you oh, know, you this did? Is, I didn't know you had a T100. Ah. Yeah, I had a few in here, but here's my uh, my green truck. As you can see behind me, isn't it beautiful? Look at that. It's amazing. Don't you Your want second it? tundra. Don't you want it? It's Where's a, the other tundra? Things. The other tundra's at the office, and then there's also you know the other tundra is sitting at the office where it lives. And uh, oh, because you're not allowed I can't to park. You're not allowed to park it. Yeah, I have. Time. I have not. <laughs> there are not. There, you know. I, I can't get past the Nazis in my homeowners association. Oh yeah. So Pearly has ongoing battles uh, with his homeowners association regarding all the tundras he has parked there. <laughs> Here's my second. This is the second. My second tundra. That was a beautiful truck before it got smashed up. And it was really nice, and it got and it got totaled by my nephew. And uh, you know, look at that. It's so pretty. It was. It was, it was so perfect. For, yeah, didn't it you really buy was. it with like thirty or forty thousand miles? It had thirty had thirty thousand miles on it, thirty two thousand miles on it. Had my my nephew drove it more than I did almost, and then he wrecked, they ran it into a wall. And uh, then here's the. Let's see if you're. Do you have your new Tundra, the replacement for that one? It, well, the Tundra that I have right now is the black one I sh featured on a previous window shopping episode. Right. And uh, that one's over at my office, but I couldn't park them both here, so. So many times. I brought the new one. Tony, my, my, son, you know, my son left this one here while he's at school at Carleton College in Northfield, Minnesota. Tony, at some point, you could just save Huffman's previous Tundra and just, like, replay it for new episodes. Like, it'll save everybody time. He won't have, you know. I like to check in on him. This is as much a welfare check as it is a, uh, <laughs> as it is getting to listen to him. Well, you know, it's just, you know, it's not like Alana's ever featured her Opal or any of her Marriott Dodges in anything. Have you, Alana? I mean. Yeah. Okay. 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 All right, Pearly. All right. Um, all right, Casey, you're up next. What have you brought us? All right. So uh, I also, like Jonathan, wanted to find um, four-wheel drive, um, four-wheel drive uh, uh, diesel um, also, I wanted a manual, and I found I found this water tanker um, that I'm not <laughs> suggesting anyone buy, uh, but I love that the seller um, lists the possible uses, um, and you know, including pumping out flooded basements, emptying <laughs> toilets, septic tank work, transporting chemicals. Uh, but instead, I found um, this beautiful '88 Isuzu. Oh, that is beautiful. Ooh, ooh. Um, Up right there. Uh, because yeah, because I also I'm I'm a firm believer in regular cab pickups. Um, I have one myself that I love. Um, uh, but um, this is Zuzu. I found it's in Florida. It's pretty sharp, sixty thousand miles. Wow. Um, manual too. Yeah, it's ma manual too, uh, which is uh, my truck's manual as well. 
I never uh, see these. It's, it's remarkably I, this, clean. I never see these Isuzu's, especially with the, those are like rodeo wheels or. Um, well, were they sell, this, is, this is the generation after the love, right? When yes. It was sold as a love. Yeah. Yeah, after the pop. After the, yeah. the pop. So yeah, so we, we never covered it. The magazine never covered it. The only time we covered it was in a buyer's guide um, here. But uh, from that buyer's guide, I determined that this is in fact the 2.6 liter inline four. So it's like 120 horse-ish. Um, but, uh, but yeah, you know, I mean, I have a, I have a, a massive one ton Dodge that, um, you know, uh, it's, it's, pretty, it's obscene in a lot of ways. Um, I never use its capacity i would be completely served with this pickup in my pickup usage so the only, uh, the only yeah. thing that scares the only thing that scares me about this is it's an orphan brand and it's such a rare truck that when it does break it's going to be hard just finding parts i don't know i think parts for it are pretty plentiful i mean they made a lot of it a lot of this is like rodeo and um what was the little one the um the two-door rodeo amigo the amigo yeah, yeah. i mean amigo. they made they made some amigos and a lot of those shared parts with this do you think they're a lot low, Tony? How much is it, Casey? Is that is that price? It's right? fifty-five again. This is this is yes, it's over budget, but it's well within the negotiating range. So, um, Casey, um, if you go back to the water pumper truck, um, speaking of negotiating, okay. when I was selling that Datsun six hundred and twenty, um, so so Cruisen uh, Cruisen sold it back to me for basically the same same amount of money, and just gave him his money back, and then. Uh, and so then I went to sell it and I was like, I'll just sell it for 900 bucks. Like, I just want to be, I want it out of my life. And you should never sell a car for 900 bucks because people will ask you so many questions about a $900 truck. Um, and I would. I, I started totally one of those people. people. Yeah, I just started writing back to people and being like, it is $900. It is not worth my time to answer any of your questions. But one of the questions was, from a guy who wanted to start a mobile detailing company and he wanted to know if he could put like a giant multi-ton water tank in the back of the Datsun 620. And I said, it's a four cylinder, it makes like 97 horsepower and no, you can't have it. Cause I just, I felt bad for it. I didn't want it to have that life. <laughs> that was like Aaron did that. When Aaron had that beautiful, Aaron Robinson, guy we used to work with, had this beautiful uh, um, Honda, uh what was that is the a motorcycle yeah, yeah it was right a CB, it was a it was a cb3 354 cb254 and uh i think it was a 254 354 350 they didn't make it. 354 yeah anyway whatever it was he wrote this huge long um uh um what's it called a uh, uh, craigslist ad and then somebody came to look at it and aaron's like so where are you gonna park this and and he's like well i got this little like I got this like little lean to out back and and Aaron's like, no, no, this isn't the bike for you. And I think he also I turned somebody that. away that thought that they were going to be commuting on the highway with it. And he was yeah, like, he's no, like, it's, no, not, no. it's not set up for a life on the freeway. Sorry. You no, can't no, you're, you're not. You're not. No, no, I it's can't. You're good for this that. thing. Yeah. All right. I, I, considering what you guys have brought to the table, I think I might have a winner. It is the Cadillac Escalade EXT. Can you guys see that? Oh, yes. Yeah, unfortunately. Cadillac's. Yeah. First pickup. It's basically the Avalanche. First? Oh, the pictures Holy. aren't the pictures aren't going. Oh, the pictures aren't moving? All right, hang on. Let me try again. I just, and, it, is that even a truck, really? Well, I mean it's it's suburban based. Oh, that's such a bad picture to start with. Is it going is it scrolling yeah, yet? Yeah, 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 we're scrolling. You should have you should have kept it where you could only see the Yeah, I'm sorry. That was my mistake. <laughs> Apparently Apparently this is six and a half or 6.25 inches. I read the road test. That's how big the crest is on this bad boy. Thing is, the, you know, I always think when you buy an older luxury vehicle, it says I was prosperous in 2003. <laughs> you know, no, no. What it says is somebody was prosperous in 2003. I'm I bought it from them in 2020. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so I'm smart. I'm yeah, I'm smart and I want a reliable truck with a six liter V8. <laughs> okay. And Zabrano wood accents. This is real wood, guys. This is not Zabrano. Zabrano. <laughs> is that, is that, is that a species? Zabrano, have you ever seen a Zabrano tree? Have you? Yes. Exactly. Zabrano. Zabrano. Epson on it? Yeah. 
I think it's from Botswana, the Zebrano oh, priest. <laughs> so it's probably the same guy put the, put the wood in this thing. It's the same guy who's selling Jonathan's truck. So this is basically an avalanche platform. I mean, it's, ba it's basically the avalanche, which itself yes, was based, which was based on the suburban. So you drop the gate there and there's a bed, not a huge bed, but then you can mm -hmm. drop the back um that firewall you the can drop gate. that back and fold. i'll remember the change for a buck commercial the mid gate what i'm the surprised you don't have the change gate. for a buck a television commercial queued up but these are this one has 171,000 miles it has the original wheels on it nobody nobody put giant aftermarket wheels on it it's just an honest nice escalade nice cool. Nice. Yeah. Tony, you're trying hard to sell this. It's classy. Yeah. It's classy in a way that you're classy. 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 I have, I have never seen you go this low for for one of your vehicles, Tony. What it do, has what this, you look at this beautiful gauge cluster it has. Look at the font. Oh, it's yeah. Cadillac exclusive. Comes with an empty tank of gas, apparently, as well. <laughs> yeah, it's empty. It's gonna be. It's not gonna be inexpensive to run this thing. I think it'll probably get ten to twelve miles to the gallon. What we get? What we get in the road test? I don't remember. The road test is hilarious, though. It's got. It was written by John Phillips, and they. Uh, the captions are hilarious. We'll have Brad put up some of the some of the images from that. Yeah, this thing has. Does this thing have the seatbelts in the actual seats? Yes, it does. I believe yeah. so. Yeah, it's got them in the seat. Right there. Yeah, I always thought that was kind of cool. Just like a um, R129 500SL. Yeah, it's the same, same vehicle. <laughs> R129 weighs more than this. No, this weighs almost 6,000 pounds. Yeah, uh, apparently. Okay, okay. 7, pounds. To, to answer the fuel economy question, uh, so EPA says, this is old EPA, says 12, 16 or 15. Hold on. 12, 16, we averaged uh, 13. That's not bad for us. That's, that's, oh, you averaged 13 actually in real use. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we averaged. Yeah, apparently Zero. Cadillac, in the story, it says Cadillac PR was telling people that this would be great for host, horse owners. <laughs> so John Phillips tried to put a horse into the back bed, into this tiny little bed that this truck has. Um, so anyway, so I think this is a winner. I this, think, thing, um, this, this, this thing just has drive-by shooting written all over it. What do you mean? It's it just looks like something. It just looks like something somebody would buy who wants to go out and shoot shoot up the neighborhood. No. I mean, yeah, Tony, nor, you normally find pretty good stuff, but I'm I'm <laughs> I'm not on board with this. But I'm sorry. I feel like minivans are actually better for drive-by shootings, just like because you can have the door open. Well, oh, so. you're, you, I, I defer to your expertise. Or an EV, an EV because of the silence. SUV convertible. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> oh, good. You know. Murano cross cabriolet. Yeah, 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 you got a you got a Lando Lay somewhere, you know. All right, now now's the time of the show when we vote on each other's picks. So uh who went first? Jonathan, you went first with that real scammy but beautiful. Was, I don't I don't understand. Thank you, Casey. Thank I'll you. give you a thumbs Thank up. You. If it's real, if it's real, Thank if you. it's real, it's it's a, it's thumbs up. If it's gonna be like, like, at the end, it, it's going to be like a, 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 an unsolved mysteries, like update. And then it's going to, you know, <laughs> there's going to be an update, like a post post production update. Whether it's Jonathan really Ramsey old. missing. Yeah. No one yeah. expected. Yeah. <laughs> but Alana, All right, Alana, what did you think of Jonathan's truck? Thumbs up. Thumbs oh, I mean, it was an amazing truck. It's a, it's a thumbs up. I mean, I'm, I'm a big Jonathan fan, so he really can't do anything. <laughs> you haven't seen some of the AMCs he's chosen. Oh, that's... That only ups my stock <laughs> when I get the AMC out. All right, Alana had the beautiful last year Nissan 720 pickup. I got to give that a hearty right, thumbs up. Yeah. Two big thumbs up for that one. I'm, I'm a big yeah. Alana fan. Aww. If it exists, it gets two thumbs up. <laughs> I'm going to buy it, Jonathan. I'm going to buy it. I'm going to wrap it up in a box sure and send it and to I, you. I'll meet you in my F-250, my $1,400 F-250. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have one of burgers. Oh, yeah. All right, Pearly, you were up next with your Tundra. I got to give it a thumbs up. Reluctantly, yeah. I want to give you a not a thumbs up. But I think everyone did pretty well this week. We all took it pretty seriously. I'm kind of well, worried. I'm not, I'm not done yet. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait, we have one more. Man, we'll see you next week. <laughs> uh, KC. Hey, Susan? Susan. Oh, totally. 56,000 miles. I liked oh, it. 
I can, yeah. I, can, I, can, I can give a thumbs up for just reading the just reading the ad is so much fun, so it gets a thumbs up. Which ad? The Isuzu ad or the water truck ad? The water tank. Water tanker. Yeah. Oh, no, we're, we're, the voting on, we're voting on the Isuzu. Oh. <laughs> Oh, he's like it in a halfway. All right. And then the six liter, 345 horsepower Cadillac of pickups. In Look, Forest, I'm going to be Forest that, is kind. that is kind. Thumbs that. up for Zabrano Wood. <laughs> Zabrano. <laughs> Carlos? Is that Carlos Zabrano? Okay. <laughs> Are you still going to hire me for stuff if I say no to it? <laughs> oh, yeah, please, please. Let me know what you really think. I think that your pick is probably the most comfortable road trip uh, choice <laughs> of, of them here, but I would have to close my eyes every time I walked up to it and walked away from it. Yeah. yeah. It well, also, like, the seal in the rear was dangling, and I've heard that those, those mid-gates, I think, as they call them, tend to get rattly and leaky and... I don't know if I could recommend that to somebody. It's a five thousand dollar truck with Zabrano wood. Yeah, it's I, mostly a truck. I picked a <laughs> Nissan, so I'm not going to be like, no, it it leaking is a no go. <laughs> <laughs> but look, but what you can carry, you can actually carry. We don't know if Tony can carry what he needs to carry. I, what I does that, that mean? I bet Has the Tony ever carried anything carry, anyplace? I bet the Nissan could carry you, about as much horse as the Escalade. <laughs> That's true. You had a long bed. I have a tiny little bed. All right. I think you just take too many horses. Tony, have you ever owned a truck? It sounds like nobody's an Escalade fan. All right. Well, that brings us to the end of this episode. Have you ever owned a truck, Tony? No. I've never owned a truck or an SUV. I've never owned an no, office. No, no. Thank you. No. Who yeah. <laughs> says a lot, doesn't it? Right there. All right. Fine. I can still recommend them. All the rest of us have owned trucks. Not you. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, that would explain why I chose that. It <laughs> no, doesn't. All right. Well, I thought for sure you were gonna find that. some beauty, like just California, some something California that just has like no rust, or you were gonna find me a cab for my Ram. I did. I, I did find some nice Rams, and I was gonna say that I could resell it to you afterwards. I found some nice work trucks, but then I decided I wanted a little more Zabrano wood in my life, and that's <laughs> that's what you get. That's the mistake you made. A lot of people. <laughs> a lot of first-time truck owners make that mistake. A lot of first-time Zambrano wood buyers. Make that <laughs> there you go. In 2003, <laughs> they did. Can you, right. can you buy anything new with Zambrano wood today? I don't know. No, oh, there you go. They used it all they, up. They wiped out all the Zambranos <laughs> for those Escalades. All right. All right. Before this goes any longer. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you next week. Subscribe and like if you enjoyed this. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys.